It is my pleasure to partner with Assembly Woman Jimmy Williams, the Simon Reventhal Center, JC, JCRC, New Millennium Development, and my elected colleagues. In the community to join me in all remembering the many lives so suggest, I mean, practically lost in the Holocaust, especially as many as 1.5 million Jewish children alone who died at the hand of the Nazis. I join you all this evening to proclaim loudly, never forget, never again. Unfortunately, hate and anti-Semitism are still prevalent in our city and the world today. Just last week, I joined the Residential Center at the City Hall to release the 2022 Digital Hate Speech um, Report, which detailed the rise in anti-Semitic racism and hate online on social media. We cannot imagine back then, without social media, without any WhatsApp, Instagram, all of them, we did not have that back then. But yet, we lost so many lives, and it went so fast. In the world that we live today, we have to be careful. We have to be cautious. Hate should not be thriving among ourselves. We are too smart. We knew what happened when we swap, when we relax, when we think the other one will take care of everything. It is on for us in our community to watch for those behaviors, never to repeat again in our lifetime. Like I promised with my colleagues in City Hall, that we will continue to bind together to say no to hate to anywhere, anyone. The best way to combat hate is to continue to speak out against it at all times, even within your family, at the table, dinner, Everywhere we are, we have to be mindful that hate can thrive if we don't take steps. We must always remember that what unites us is far greater than what divides us. Let us be strong. Let us be patient with others, but say no. My brothers and sisters, it is my pleasure to always continue to support and push for things that can make us better for each other, which is love, caring, understanding. I'm about to read a poem this evening. It's called The Butterfly. The author was imagining freedom, the butterfly. It was written in 1942 when he was 21 years old. He was executed in Auschwitz 18 months later. The last, the very last, so beautifully, brightly, dazzlingly yellow. Perhaps if the sun tears would sing against a white stone, such, such a yellow is carried lightly. We are high. It went away, I'm sure, because we wished to kiss the world goodbye. For seven weeks, I have lived in here, pent up inside this ghetto. But I have found my people here. The dandelions called to me, and the white chestnut kindled in the court. Only I never saw another butterfly. That butterfly was the last one. Butterflies don't live. 